Hi guys, welcome to Safe and Travel. My name is Emmy. I post quick workouts here every other week that you can do at home or anywhere when you travel. So click subscribe if you're looking for some killer sweat sessions to burn fat and tone your body with no equipment needed. Today we're doing a thigh workout to burn the thigh fat and tone them up so they're looking nice and slim. I'm warning you now that it's going to be super intense, your legs will be insanely sore, but don't hate me because like I always say, no pain, no gain. Remember your goals, get ready, and let's do it. First one, let's warm up with legs only jumping jacks to get our blood flowing. Hold your hands in front of your chest, hop in and out with your knees slightly bent. Simple and easy, but it is going to get you out of breath. Use this time to remind yourself of your goals. Think about why you're here today, giving this workout a try. In this 10 minutes, give yourself a chance to commit to finishing this workout. Success is when you keep going and don't give up even when things get hard. I know you're not a quitter. Let's get this done together. I'm here with you every step of the way. Rest for 15 seconds and I'll show you the second exercise. Outer leg lifts. First, lie on your left side, rest your upper body on your left elbow, bent at a 90 degree angle. Bend your left leg as well at a 90 degree angle to support your lower body up so that your thigh and butt are placed off the ground. You should be forming one straight line from your head to your left knee. Extend your right leg straight out, engaging your thigh and butt, raise your right leg up as high as possible. Then keeping it straight, lower it with your foot tapping the floor. This is one rep. Repeat for 22 seconds and switch sides. burning but that's what you're here for let's get ready for the third exercise it is going to be a killer jump squat to the side stand up with your feet wider than shoulder width apart toes and knees pointing out with your head up and your back straight start by squatting down just like how you do it in a regular squat but once your upper thighs are parallel or lower to the floor jump up and turn your whole body to one side then quickly jump up again and turn your body back to facing front squat down again and jump to the other side repeat for 45 seconds Don't stop, we want to burn the thigh fat, we gotta put in the hard work. Keep it up. We did it! Let's lie back down for our next exercise, inner leg lift. Similar to the outer leg lift, lie on your left side with your left elbow bent and a 90 degree angle to support your upper body but this time the left side of your butt is on the floor with your left leg straight on the mat. Flexing your feet. Push your right leg over your left leg and plant it on the ground in front of your body. Engaging your inner thigh, raise your left leg off the floor as high up as you can. Repeat for 22 seconds and switch sides. You should be feeling a slow burn in your thighs. Rest a bit because the next one is the ultimate killer that I absolutely hate but I do it a few times a week because the burn is 100% worth it. In and out squats. The first half here we'll do it with jumping and the second half without. First stand with your feet together, hands in front of your chest, keeping your back straight and chest up. Squat down, this is your in squat. Then jump up in one explosive motion and land with your feet wide apart in a sumo squat stance. Squat down and this is your out squat. Then jump up as high as you can and squat back down, landing with your feet together. This is one rep. 
Repeat for 22 seconds, and then we'll take away the jumping. From your in squat, step your right leg out to the right and squat down to your out squat. Stand back up and step your right leg back in together with your left leg and squat down to your in squat. Repeat the same movement on the left side. Alternate between sides for 22 seconds. I know your legs are turning jelly, trust me, I just want to the last one of four. So the next exercise, thank god we're lying back down. Single leg circle, like the legs lift, lie down on your left side with your left elbow bent at a 90 degree angle to support your upper body. This time, however, your left leg is bent at a 90 degrees angle. With the left side of your thigh and butt on the floor. Straighten your right leg and extend it upwards off the ground. Rotate your right leg in small circles. First in a clockwise direction for around 10 seconds, and then in the opposite direction for another 10 seconds. Then switch sides to lie on your right side and rotate your left leg in the air. Each direction for 10 seconds. The burn is real, but we're more than halfway through. Don't quit on me, I'm in this together with you. Rest, remember to stay hydrated, and we'll stand back up for the rest of this workout. Seventh is sumo squat calf raise. I love this exercise, it is really really good for your inner thighs. Stand with your feet in a wider stand for normal squat. Toes turn out. Bring your hands together in front of your chest and squat down so your thighs are parallel to the floor. Knees over the ankles. Then stay in the squat position, raise your heels off the floor, then come back down, stand back up, this is one rep. Repeat for 45 seconds. You will also need to engage your core and really work your thighs to keep your balance. This isn't so bad, isn't it? Comparing to the ones before, which is why this is one of my favorite. At least I get to catch my breath. Alright, let's move on to the egg exercise, side lunge. Another one of my favorite for inner and outer thighs. First, stand with legs together with your hands in front of your chest. Then shift your body weight to one leg bending the knee until it reaches a 90 degree angle and the other leg is straight. Your butt is pressing back behind you. Then push through your heel to return to center standing position and switch side. Alternate between sides for 45 seconds. Just a couple more seconds to go and you are done. Push it, get the last few reps in. Okay guys, last jumping exercise, we got this. No pain, no gain. Let's burn fat and tone up. Skaters, keeping your core and back tight, leap to the right with your right leg, bringing your left foot behind you, keeping both knees bent. At the same time, lean forward and try to reach your right foot with your left hand. Then hop to the left, bringing your left leg to the front, your right leg behind you, and reaching your right hand to your left foot. This exercise definitely requires some coordination if you have never done it before, so don't worry if you're a little bit confused. You can do it without bending down to try to reach your hand to your foot. Keep your hands in front of your chest and work only your legs. We're almost there guys, don't stop now. Last one is squat kick. Start with a regular squat with your hands held up in front of your chest. But as you come up, extend and kick your right leg up to the front, then squat back down and this time as you come up, extend and kick your right leg to the side. Go straight back down to a squat and this time perform the same movement with your left side. Basically, it's squat, kick to the front, kick to the side, then switch leg. Alternate between sides and repeat for 45 seconds. The harder you kick, the more burn you get. Remember to engage your core to keep your balance.
Hang in there. Push for the last few reps. Five, four, three, two, one, and we're done. Okay, guys. I know that was horrible. I probably had trouble walking down the stairs tomorrow, but it's going to be worth it. No pain, no gain. You can also switch to my other leg workout later this week. I'll link it up right here so that your body won't get used to the same workout and stop progressing. And I promise you'll see better results that way. For those of you who have been asking about my post-workout protein drink, recently I really, really like this pineapple coconut water with protein from Food Spring. It's called Cocoa Way. And it tastes amazing, especially for those of you who have been telling me that you don't like the taste of protein powder. I totally get you, which is why I love this. It's like all my favorite things in one box. And it literally just tastes like pineapple coconut water. You guys know that I'm the biggest fan of Food Spring because all the products are natural and organic from Germany. So I really like their healthy snacks and fitness food. So I would highly, highly recommend to you guys. All right, guys, I hope you had a good sweat with me. Remember to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss the next workout with me. I'll see you guys next week.